A much brighter day today, which is always welcome any time of year. But here we are, the uh, early days of November, and you would never guess. It feels a lot like September, maybe? It doesn't, it doesn't feel like it at all. And, and as we talked about, the only clue you're going to have, especially as we go into Friday and the weekend, it's just the sun angle at certain times. Yeah. Like, I even and, the, and the sunlight is shorter, too. Right, yeah. right. So, yeah, yeah, you wake up and it's still dark and all that, <laughs> all that stuff. But otherwise, yeah, you could, you could buy September easily. So this stretch is just going to be great. It starts today. Even yesterday wasn't bad for a lot of us, but today is kind of the beginning of this, this really great five-day stretch of weather, maybe a little bit longer, depending. A little patch of clouds here uh, into New Hampshire and far western Maine, but that is uh, the anomaly. Most of us are nice and bright and we will be through the rest of today. Temperatures already responding into the mid 60s in Sanford at 65, Arundel at 64, mountains are in the 50s. Keep in mind average high this time of year about 53, 54. So we're already blowing that away and it's not, uh, these readings are before noon technically. So it shows you where we're going. 60 in Bangor, 60 in Herman and Belfast at 58. So mild, a lot of sun rest of today. That, that's how it goes. Tonight will be a bit cooler as we talked about, and not cooler in the sense of below average, but cooler compared to where we've been overnight, which has been mild. We were in the 50s and upper 40s last night. That's unusually mild. So we'll drop back down in the 30s tonight. That won't really stop us. Tomorrow we're back to around 60 degrees by the afternoon. It's another bright, sunny day. You notice not a whole lot going on here on this uh, predictive radar and cloud cover because there's nothing to show you. And then Friday, I think, is the first day where we have a legitimate shot to get to 70, especially over southern and western Maine. But I think they'll be out there through Friday afternoon, again on Saturday, and again on Sunday. We might be able to squeeze one more out on Monday. It's just this ridge of high pressure just shifting. It becomes a, a bit of a Bermuda high. Bermuda high brings southwest winds, and that's all we need. We get squeezed in the warm sector. That's tough in August, great this time of the year, and that lasts all the way until at least Monday, and then this front tries to come through maybe on Monday night, but we might be able to hold it for the first day of the work week next week too, which will give us a chance at 70. So here's just an idea on Saturday. You'll notice I increased temperatures a little bit more compared to yesterday. We've got low 70s, 72 in Sanford, 71 in Augusta, 72 in Bangor. So just blowing away our normal high, which is in the mid 50s uh, at best. So how long does it last? You can see it goes up through the weekend into early Monday and then back down Tuesday, Wednesday. It's worth noting though, even when we're back down for Tuesday and Wednesday, it's just average. It's not like we have this sudden cold shot of weather. Just due diligence here, uh, in case you hear about this on any kind of national news, there is a hurricane down uh, into the Yucatan Peninsula. It's going to just go across there and come out as a depression most likely. It is, uh, I believe, is Lisa, is that right? Yeah, that, that, that's right. Um, so nothing going on for us. The most eventful thing this weekend is that you have to uh, <laughs> Remember, your clocks are going to go back. Most of them do it automatically now, right? Except for your coffee maker and maybe your car or something like that. Yeah, the stove, yeah, the microwave. Yeah, stove, you're right. <laughs> My stove wants to be Wi-Fi enabled, but I don't do it because I, I, I want a good reason. Well, everyone's going to know what you're cooking now. Yeah. And maybe you don't want that public. Yeah, I'm like, give me a reason you need to be connected to the Internet, and then we'll talk about it. But I don't see any reason. <laughs> Thank you, Keith.